There is no wonder to compare with the sight of humpback whales swimming free in their ocean habitat. They are gentle, air-breathing giants diving into the depths with consummate grace and power. They symbolize the significance of life in the sea. Whales Forever is the motto of the Connecticut Cetacean Society, a small volunteer organization to help save the whale. I am Robbins Barstow, the Society's volunteer executive director. Cetacean is the scientific name for all whales, dolphins, and porpoises. There are over 80 different species of these special marine mammals, from the small four-foot harbor porpoise to the giant blue whale, 100 feet long, the largest creature ever to have lived on planet Earth. Whales and other cetaceans are classified in two main categories. Baleen whales have fringed plates of baleen hanging down from the tops of their mouth. There are just 10 of these large species of whale, including the blue humpback and right whale, shown on this chart in comparison with a tiny human swimmer. Toothed whales, of which the 60-foot sperm whale is the largest, include all the other 70 species of cetaceans including many different species of dolphins and porpoises, most of which are less than 15 feet long. Turning now to the toothed cetaceans, the 30-foot orca, or killer whale, is, except for the giant sperm whale, the largest and topmost of all the many other smaller species of whales, dolphins, and porpoises, which have teeth of one kind or another. The special wonder of killer whales is their striking black and white coloration and the extremely tall dorsal fin of males in the wild, like this one filmed in the North Pacific off the coast of Washington State. They're called killer whales because like lions and tigers on land, they are carnivores and feed on large fish and sometimes other marine mammals like seals and sea lions, although they are not aggressive toward humans. They live in oceans around the world, most of them in pods of families with lifelong bonds. In recent years, some aquariums like SeaWorld have taken orcas from the wild and made them captive showpieces. This calf was born in captivity in San Diego in 1986. Black-skinned pilot whales grew up to 18 feet in length and travel in large groups or pods, seen here in the North Atlantic. They are familiar in the coastal waters of New England, and sometimes they strand themselves in large numbers on Cape Cod and other beaches, for reasons unknown. They also breach spectacularly, as shown here in slow motion. For millions of years, the Yangtze River in China was the home of the unusual freshwater Chinese river dolphin, known as the Baiji. Tragically, this species of dolphin was declared to have become extinct in 2006. These pictures, taken two decades earlier in 1985 at the Institute of Hydrobiology in Wuhan, China, show the last remaining captive specimen of the Baiji, which was maintained and studied in a large tank until its death in 2002. Man-made pollution, increased boat traffic, and net fishing despoiled the Baiji's Yangtze River habitat and spelled its doom. This species of dolphin will never again be seen alive. Still living in the ice-surrounded waters of the Arctic is the uniquely toothed narwhal, known as the unicorn of the sea. Although females and young narwhals, like this mother and calf, do not have tusks, in adult males, one of two teeth in the upper jaw grows out with spiraling grooves to an incredible length of up to nine feet. Narwhals have been hunted by Eskimos in limited numbers for their ivory and meat for many centuries. But there is no other single-tusked animal like it on Earth. 
and it's an amazing sight to see a pod of narwhals swimming on the surface with their tusks pointing out of the water. What use is made of these tusks is still a mystery, though they may play a role in mating to establish dominance. Still sporting in warm waters around the globe is the common dolphin. They offer one of the most thrilling and magnificent spectacles of nature to be seen any place on Earth. This was off Baja, California in 1986. As we watch in awestruck wonder, we see this incredible mass of shining bodies come rushing toward our ship. Suddenly, we realize that these leaping swimmers are dolphins, literally hundreds and hundreds of them, converging in a crowd stretching as far as the eye can see. From the colorful markings on their sides, we can see that this is a species of dolphin known as the common dolphin. Common dolphins are found in the temperate waters of all oceans, and they often travel in incredibly large herds, which can number as many as 3,000. These dolphins seem to love mass visits to passing boats. They all dash over and will spend many minutes frolicking around and under the ship, apparently taking turns with their favorite sport of riding the bow waves. There are more than a dozen different species of small whales known as beaked whales. One very rare such whale, almost never seen, living in deep waters in the North Atlantic, is this Sowerby's beaked whale. Notice how it points its beak skyward upon surfacing. When these scenes were taken in 1991 on a trip out of Gloucester to the Continental Shelf, they were reported by the Smithsonian Institution to be the first moving pictures ever taken of this species. So let us join hands now together The killing of whales it must end And let us return to the as humans a whale's good friend As humans a whale's good friend And let us return to the oceans As humans